What's up, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to my channel. What's up, twins? Welcome to my channel, y'all. My new viewers, my returning, and my BSLs. What do you do, y'all? Okay, so Scorpio, this is going to be your twin flying reading, all right? So if anything resonates, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. Also, Scorpio, if you're interested in a personal read, okay, you guys, the information is in the description box, and also check out my community board, okay? All right, Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. All right, so messages through music. We have Alicia Keys, If I Ain't Got You, okay? Some people want it all. I don't want nothing at all if I ain't got you. This twin flame connection cannot be broken, Scorpio. But a life without your twin is not a life fulfilled. So I feel like, Scorpio, this is your twin's energy, okay? I feel like your twin was someone, it was like they wanted it all, okay? They wanted to be out here living first class, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to be living first class and shit, you know what I'm saying? But they're realizing that they don't have nothing at all, you know what I'm saying? This life of luxury, this life they was trying to present or they wanted to have, it's like none of that mean nothing at all if they ain't got their twin, you know what I'm saying? Scorpio, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be your energy too. I feel like a lot of you guys, you're about to be very abundant, okay? You got about to have some big money coming in, you're going to have your own business, all that. But it's like once you go on all those trips, once you be flying first class, you know what I'm saying, living your best life, you're still going to realize, you know what I'm saying, that still being without your twin, it's like your life is still not fully fulfilled here, okay? And then the next song we have here is India Ari, okay? I am ready for love, Scorpio, okay? So I am ready for love, okay? All the joy and the pain that love brings. Y'all know love, love just ain't all good all the time. It just ain't all peaches and cream, you know what I'm saying? A, a real relationship, you know what I'm saying? It has ups and downs, but what makes your relationships strong is when you have those downs, you know what I'm saying, how you're able to work through, you know what I'm saying, those down periods. Is that relationship, is that foundation strong where it can stand the test of time, okay? All the time that it takes just to stay in your good grace, okay? So, Scorpio, I feel like your twin is ready for love, okay? This person realized that maybe dealing with this karmic or these relationships, and the karma don't necessarily have to even be a person, you know what I'm saying? The karma could be hell work, you know what I'm saying? Family, friends, you know what I'm saying? People that did no longer serve them. I feel like you're, but I feel like in this situation, yes, this is for the twins that was dealing with the karma, okay? That was in a loveless relationship. This person wants love. Ooh, excuse me, this person wants love, Scorpio. Look at this. I split the deck. We have yearning. Yes, Scorpio, your twin is yearning for you at this moment, okay? Because they're realizing they are ready for love. Because, Scorpio, you gave them more love than they got even dealing with this karmic, these other relationships, these side pieces, whomever. Look, I can't make this up. Twin Flame came out here next, okay? Your Twin Flame, your divine counterpart, okay? This... This is someone that has been yearning for you, Scorpio, because they're ready for love. They're ready to be fulfilled. And they realize, Scorpio, you're the only one that can fulfill them, okay? They realize me and this connection, they were very selfish with you, Scorpio. They ain't handled you right, okay? They was like Trey Song said, you know what I'm saying? They fumbled your heart, you know what I'm saying? They fumbled the ball when it came to Scorpio, okay? But this is someone, Scorpio, I feel like they've been watching you, Scorpio, and they got people watching you. I ain't even shuffling the cards, you guys. I'm just pulling from here. I feel like this person has been watching you, Scorpio, because they want to know who Scorpio with. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio ain't been talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio ain't messaging me back or none of this. So who the hell is Scorpio dealing with here, okay? And this is someone, your twin has been dreaming about you all the time, Scorpio. All they do is thinking about Scorpio. They dream about Scorpio. All the dogs on time because, Scorpio, this was a, someone that you had a very strong sexual connection with, okay? There was a lot of strong sexual chemistry with this person. I'm talking about, Scorpio, when this, when your mask, when your family used to pull up at your house, they was already rock hard for they got there, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Your family was already wet, ready for you. You know what I'm saying? When they got there, y'all take the energies how it resonates. This crazy, you guys. I ain't even shuffling these cards. Look at these messages that's coming out. But Scorpio, your twin was someone that was in and out of your life. You know what I'm saying? One minute, you'll be talking to him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was having happy moments. You on cloud nine dealing with this person. And then shit, three, four months, three weeks later, you ain't talking to this person no more. You know what I'm saying? But Scorpio, I'm going to tell you something. This person was only in and out your life because that's what you allowed them to do. You know what I'm saying? People only treat you the way that you allowed them to. And I feel like, Scorpio, that's something that you are going to learn. Or this is something that you have already learned being on this twin flame journey and for some of you shit this karma they was dealing with you know what i'm saying this karma know about you okay because this masculine told them everything because why scorpio they realize they ain't got you scorpio they ain't got shit you know what i'm saying because they are ready for love okay some of you your divine masculine your divine feminine your divine counterpart take it how it resonate okay they have told this karmic everything about you scorpio because they're ready for love they want to be in a loving 
fulfilling relationship. Okay, this person wants to have their 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 ten of cups. Look at this scorpio. Yo, you're divine masculine, you guys. I can't make this shit up. Your divine masculine has told this karmic that they were dealing with you guys. Take it how it resonates. Just to say divine masculine, I meaning it's a male. You know what I'm saying? It could be females. That's in the divine masculine energy, okay? They told this karmic everything about you, Scorpio, because they are ready for love, okay? And this could have been someone that was suffering from addictions. You know what I'm saying? They was drinking heavily. They was doing drugs, popping pills, smoking lots of weed, trying to, I feel like, forget about this connection with you, Scorpio. But they realize that they can't forget about this, this connection with you, Scorpio, okay? All right, ooh, that's crazy. I ain't even have to pull no cards. So we're going to pull some tarot here. <clears throat> and we're going to see what's going on in this connection with my Scorpios, dealing with their twin spirit. So, Spirit, tell us why are my Scorpios, why, why is their twin or their divine masculine, why are they ready for love now? What's going on? Why is their divine counterpart, why are they ready for love at this present moment? Messages from my Scorpio on the twin flame journey. Why is there divine masculine ready for love? Okay, you guys, because they dealing with this damn queen of wands, this damn karmic. You know what I'm saying? This person that they told everything about, this person that's been manipulating them, that's been using them, this whole damn time that's been taking advantage of them. They told this karmic everything, and that's why they yearning for you. They like, man, fuck, I'm going to tell this karmic that I want to be with Scorpio because I just can't do this shit no more. So tell us about this queen of wands, spirit. Who is this queen of wands that this masculine is dealing with? Could be a fire sign dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Tell us about the Queen of Wands here. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to come rush it in, Scorpio. I can't make it up, okay? This person wants to leave this Queen of Wands alone. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be in and out. And they want to come rushing in, okay? They want to come. They don't want to be in this in and out energy. This is the energy they've been in before, okay? They don't want to continue to be like this, okay? They want to come in. They want to come rushing in and maybe come and say with you or let you know, Scorpio, what's been going on. Oh, yeah. They want to come rushing in, Scorpio, because they've been carrying this heavy burden. You guys could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here. They have the Ten of Wands, okay? So this person has been carrying a heavy burden, okay? So, Spirit, what is this heavy burden that my Scorpio twin have been carrying here? Tell us about this Ten of Wands. This heavy burden, okay, maybe they're coming out of her mode. They started to see the light, okay, because I feel like they, they felt like this karma that they chose was the best choice, and they're realizing they were not the best choice. You know what I'm saying, Scorpio? You were the choice that they were supposed to make. So let's see what signs you could be dealing with. This could also be a Virgo, you guys. We find what my Scorpio is dealing with here. We got Gemini, Cancer, we have Virgo, and we have Libra. I love you guys, and stay blessed.